Hey, it's Michelle with the Vintage Daisy. Thanks for joining me. Today I am making some little envelopes out of some vintage sewing patterns. We're going to use the tissue paper part of our patterns here. Um, I love looking at these styles. They crack me up. Oh, and look at this cool tape. I am totally going to use some of that tape in some of my journals. This one was interesting. It looks like the lady had taken it apart and put it in a larger envelope. You know, I can never refold them either, so I can understand why she did that. Um, some of these, this one looks like a flight attendant. So funny looking. Anyways, here's what I did. All I did was find um, a nice hunk and I took out the pins. Um, obviously these are used and this lady loved to sew so she had a whole bunch of little pins in there and I just took all the pins out and now I am gonna fold it and just try my best I'm not gonna measure and get all crazy about it but I do like the black um, against the tissue paper so I want some of that to show through on my envelopes if you had one of those, I don't know what they're called, but you know those quilt rulers that are wide? This would be a perfect project for that where you could just lay it down and really get a good square. You could measure, you could do all those things, but Michelle doesn't do that, so <laughs> we just kind of make do. And then I just fold up um, the bottom and kind of decide how far down I want my flap to go and instead of using scissors I just ripped it with my ruler and there's my little flap. Um, again you can go straight across or you can do this little triangle to make it like a real envelope um, and that's kind of fun. So before I did this video I actually sat and did a few envelopes in different sizes and shapes and I put them through my sewing machine. I didn't have them on any um, special stitches or anything, but I did use black thread because I liked the contrast. Again, it kind of matches the ink on the sewing patterns and I just sewed up the side and it just creates this cute little envelope. You can embellish the front or the back, use it for tucks or in belly bands. Um, shoot, you could even put this in the mail, I think, if you put it like in a cellophane, a clear cellophane envelope, I think it would be super fun to mail it out like that. So here I did just different sizes. You can sew right around the top edge to keep everything together. Um, that one was a little bit longer and you guys know I love using those littler sizes in my journals. I think they're just super cute. So um, here I did one of the larger ones and this is, would be kind of cool because you could even use this as like a little pouch and put some greenery in it. It's around Christmas time now so I can see red berries coming out of there. Not real ones, but you know. Anyways, here we go. Let's do some embellishing now. I think um, these are gonna be super cute. Uh, yeah. Here I go talking, talking, talking some more. <laughs> Boy, I like to talk. This is actually from a Facebook Live and I took the video and made it a little bit shorter and I'm doing a voiceover. So um, <laughs> I just love doing voiceovers. You may hear my dogs growling in the background or you might hear them sighing or barking. Who knows what's gonna happen. So I have my jar of little leftovers I basically call it like my snippet jar and it's filled with vintage laces fabrics little tiny bits and I actually love to use these for my snippet rolls so I am definitely needing to use some of these scraps for sure so I just want to kind of decorate some of the flaps um, with my vintage fabrics and stuff and I'm doing some auditions right now <laughs> you'll see me do auditions with the fabric and then with buttons um, I even tried using part of a snippet roll but I just wasn't loving how that looked so um, I decided to just keep using my little snippets here I love pink and that one was really sweet 
and actually I think I didn't end up using that on that one but you'll see how I ended up using it um, and just you know look at this you can just take this is a piece it's a backing of an old vintage quilt and I just used it like that again tuck that right into your journal um, add photos whatever you want inside even just little journal cards here I'm adding a mother of pearl button to an old safety pin and just tying that right on how cute is that you guys know I love my mother of pearl buttons all right the next one is the smaller one my favorite and it actually ends up coming out really really sweet I decided to use some um, fluid acrylic paint from Golden and I'm gonna use paintbrush and I'm gonna make it actually look like there's a little bit of snow on it we got some snow today and I'm gonna use a brush and just kind of um, you know I don't know what you call that when you use your fingernail and you just kind of get the bristles to make little droplets of snow there's got to be a term for it I just don't know what it is um, so you can do a little bit of this or a lot you can use more paint or not however you want to do it I just wanted a dusting of snow on my envelope I thought it was really cute I found this this is actually an old um, handkerchief and that was just a quarter of the handkerchief so I had three other parts of it and I'm just using a little corner on this flap and it is like perfect I love it and you know what I love making things that are neutral because then I can add color as I use them in my journal so if I just use creams and whites I could always add a pretty little blue ribbon on it or green or pink or whatever I wanted so if I just keep it kind of neutral it's gonna work with everything and I loved that large mother of pearl button I decided to use some of my old um, thread here and put that through the button originally I was going to actually just adhere it to the flap but as I was looking at it I was like oh my gosh I think I need to sew it on how cool is that I think it's so um, is it like ironic maybe is the word that you know this is a sewing pattern and I'm actually sewing onto it using it in a different way again there's probably some word for that but I just don't know what it is um, I was struggling getting my thread through that needle so I had to find a larger one and here I go I'm gonna get it right through now and sew the button on through the layers of the patterns it's that really thin tissue paper so it was super easy just to sew it right on there and that button will not come off unless it's really pulled hard so and you don't have to like you know go crazy sewing it it's not like it's a shirt and it's gonna get used a whole bunch and it's just for decoration um, I had a lot of fun making these I'm sure that you guys all have fun ideas to repurpose your sewing patterns. I would love to see them. If you want to send me a message, here's a great idea. Just putting it on the edge of a book page or on the top in a belly band. You could just tuck it right in or in a tuck spot. How sweet. I love that one. Truly, I think that one was my favorite. Then this one ends up in a totally different direction I really tried to use that but I decided to use my paper scraps and I put a little bit of ledger sheet music paper and it was so funny when I found that music paper it actually has the word love on it and I thought that was perfect for this project um, and I'm just gonna do a little tiny it's just a tiny little collage I'm actually going to use my tiny attacher and use a piece of that pink edged handkerchief and put that just underneath where the pink edging is showing down below. Use the tiny attacher and put it right on there. You can put it on the flap or you could put it on 
the envelope itself, which is what I decided to do. Just going to adhere it with a little three in one. Use whatever glue you have, it doesn't really matter. Um, I am not a glue snob for sure. I love that the word love is on there. I think it's so cute. And then this was another hanky, and I love the little scallop edge on that. Um, I didn't like that the flap was a little crooked, obviously. I had to fix that. Um, here I'm going to use a little Fabri-Tac. I actually spread it around with my finger. Sorry, it's off camera a little bit. Um, I spread it around with my finger just to make sure that no big clumps were going to come through that pretty um, handkerchief. And then just kind of tucked it around the edge itself. Now you could adhere the back of these envelopes right to a journal page. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that's loose in your journal either. And three little mother of pearl buttons will finish this one off. I think that one is so cute. I actually like them all. What am I saying? I just like them all. So we got three and then the fourth one is this one with the larger trim on it. And I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the back of the trim itself. If I were to have put the adhesive on the sewing pattern, um, you know, with these trims and stuff, you really kind of have to put the adhesive on those as opposed to on the page because you don't want the glue going everywhere. And just kind of tuck it on the back. This definitely needed a button right there. I auditioned a few buttons. I had a little container here of some vintage buttons. I liked the, um, the mother of pearl looking one. I liked this gold one, but it needed to be a little bit larger. And then I had the whole theme going with the pink. That one's pretty. You can't actually see that. There's like filigree on that one, but it just wasn't big enough. And so I kept digging and digging and digging. And then I found that pink one and it was like, perfect. It did have a little bit of a shank on it. And I just used my clippers and cut that off. Um, and that helped it to go flat on the back so that I could put some adhesive on there. And that one I'm calling done. You could put a word. Um, you guys know I like my secret messages, but I couldn't find a word that I really liked. You could add a word to all of these. I think they would be really sweet um, adding a word. So there's that one. The pink one is super cool. I loved them all. So thank you so much for watching. I certainly appreciate you and have a great day. Bye-bye.